Next question. Currently, there is a 24-month time delay between when the utility files for a rate hearing and when the results are determined by the PRC. This is often referred to as regulatory lag. Please detail your position on the process for regulatory rate recovery and any proposals you might support to update this process. Candidate Block, you have three minutes to address the question. All right, Beverly, thank you. The 24-month delay or regulatory lag, as you refer to it, is not from the date of filing. When utility files for a rate hearing, the commission has 30 days to determine if a hearing is required. If the commission decides a hearing is required, the case is docketed and procedural order is issued, setting up the schedule, the parameters of the case, etc. Uh, potential interveners are given an opportunity to be included in the case. The commission by statute has nine months from the time of filing to act on a case, with the ability to extend a case by three months. That accounts for 12 months. The other 12 months involves uh, the test year period, which is historical data presented as part of the utility's justification for the increase. Included are revenues, allowed expenses, and other relevant data. You know, now, except in the most complex issues, I would support reducing the, the allowed time for the commission uh, to render a decision to six months. Again, ex in, except for the complex issues, uh, six months to, to date to, uh, for filing to, for a rate increase. Concerning the test year, uh, unfortunately, nothing could be done about that. The official record established by all parties in the case must be based on actual data and not predicted forecasts of what data may be in the future. Candidate Last, you have three minutes to address the question. Thank you. What I said regarding electricity generation and transmission also applies to regulation and bureaucracy. The old models will no longer serve us. It is absolutely ridiculous that utility companies should have to wait 24 months for the results of a rate hearing. Likewise, it's absurd that an entrepreneur should have to wait 15 months to be told whether he'll be allowed to operate in our state, as is the case with a potential new green taxi company here in Santa Fe. Just because Capital City Cab objected and intervened in this case, the PRC was required to hold long hearings. On the face of it, Capital Cab's objection is absurd, and the PRC should be able to say so at the outset. For one, anyone who's ever waited for a cab in Santa Fe knows that there's plenty of market for competition. And secondly, I know plenty of people in Santa Fe who'd be willing to pay even a little more for the, to take a hybrid taxi instead of riding in a Crown Victoria or whatever capital's using these days. But the real point here is not whether a competing company would make it in this market, rather it's whether the state should be in a position to say so. I believe that in this case, a person should be allowed the opportunity to make an investment to start a company and he will either succeed or not based on the merits of his service and on the market. For the government to put onerous restrictions on this potential entrepreneur and expect a person to wait 15 months on the decision as to whether he'll be allowed to start a business is just totally anti-business and anti-American. But back to the question at hand. 24 months is way too long for a company to have to wait to hear about whether they will receive a rate increase. I would propose revamping this entire system. Instead of proposing rate increases at random intervals determined by the utility providers and other businesses that are regulated by the PRC, the PRC should regularly be monitoring these monopoly corporations especially. There should be a regular schedule of hearings, probably annually, in which the PRC evaluates utility rates based on the fluctuating costs that are provided for the, by the utilities, such as fuel prices and their other expenses. With this kind of reform, Future rates, rate cases can be handled more transparently with the process more easily understood by the public, by government staff, and by the industry that's being uh, regulated. Thank you.